What's going on, YouTube? All right, finally, I got the Nikon ZFC in my hand. And uh, you guys know the drill. I always like to buy a bunch of accessories for my camera. So first things first, let's do our normal thing. Let's do the screen protector. Now, let me pop this open. Woo, all right. So for this screen protector, I'm getting level meter right there in the wipes. How many do I get? Three, right? Yes. Now, a lot of you guys always ask me this question. Why do you wear gloves? My answer to you guys is because I don't want any fingerprints on my camera. So uh, there is no fingerprints so far because this is a brand new camera. And there you go. The screen protector just applies itself. So that is pretty cool. Now the next item I have on my list is a thumb grip. Now here is the thumb grip for the Nikon ZFC. And as you can see, it has the leather accent on the back as well. So you put it on the hot shoe. All right, so here's the thumb grip. And let me say, this is a lot more grippy than without it. So this is a pretty nice add-on, but I do feel like I'm missing something at the bottom because this camera is kind of small. So I do have another grip. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. All right, so as you can see, I can screw this grip at the bottom and still get access to my battery. So that is pretty good. Okay, good. I still get my cables on the side, so that is awesome right there. All right, look at that. I have the thumb grip and the grip in the front. And let me say, there is more grip on this camera now because I put two grips. So get a grip. So for the next accessory is a normal power bank. I think everyone has one of these lying around. Basically, the reason why is because Nikon they will reject your third party batteries. They will reject it. They want only Nikon batteries in this camera. And I know there are some third party batteries out there recommending for this camera and the Nikon Z50. And let me just put it this way. All Nikon needs to do is make a firmware update and your battery might be obsolete. So just to be on the safe side, definitely pick up a power bank or if you want, you could buy yourself a Nikon battery, which is Always out of stock, I kind of noticed. So there you go. Now the next accessory I think everyone went out to buy is a adapter for the Nikon ZFC because it looks like a classic camera. So, and uh, let me put this Nikon 50 millimeter on the camera. And let me show you guys the few to few, one moment. All right, now that I'm zoomed in, as you can see, this is the few to view. I'm gonna take a photo, all right? Make sure we got that on photo. Now, I'm gonna show you a cool adapter that will blow your mind away. Basically, this is the Zonia adapter, which will allow you to convert this lens to this camera into full frame. So let me show you guys. Woo, look at that. All right, I'm gonna take the same shot again. And guess what? Full frame, APS-C. So this will definitely make your lens into a full frame field of view image, but also with these type of lenses right here, these uh, autofocus lenses, one moment, let me show you guys. Now with the autofocus lens, check this out. That is crazy, that is nuts. Look, I'm adjusting the uh, focus right now and you could adjust the aperture. That is cool. That means if you're like a film shooter, you want an alternative, this just might be your alternative. You want that full frame field of view on your APS-C ZFC, which is a classic looking camera. And also another adapter I want to show you guys is the Mega Depth adapter. This is nice. I love this adapter right here. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Let me put my figure right there in the middle. And if you guys can see, I'm already having autofocus, eye tracking. 
nuts. That is mental. And look how small this thing is. This is so small. This is like, I could just carry this around. <laughs> now, last but not least, the last accessory that I will always recommend you guys is getting peak design. So one moment, let me plug this in. Boom. There we go, there we go. This is the peak design also. All right, look at the black strap. Black strap will work nice for this setup right here. Let me show you guys. Bam! All right, this is pretty cool. I like the black strap on the Nikon ZFC. However, I do have the silver one. One second. Now, the silver one by Peak Design is, uh, is not the Nikon silver. Oh, this is gray, actually. So, yeah, I guess they were right about their colors. But I'm going to show you guys right quick, okay? In case you guys are interested, all links are down below, but let me show you guys right quick. If you guys are thinking about getting the gray one, it's not bad. It's just a little darker than the silver, of course, but, uh, but yeah, there you go. Actually, if I was going outdoors, if I was going downtown, I'll put this in my wander pouch right here. And if it was like raining, I would not keep the strap. I would just do it like this and put everything in one pouch, pretty much. If it was raining, right? Because I'm in here in Seattle, right? But if it's not raining, I would just bring like this, my keys, and also some wipes. So for those folks out there that have been following my channel, you guys know that I've been using my size wipes all the time. If I want to wipe my glasses on my smartphone or my lenses or my camera, I have it with me right here. So there you go. And I'll just zip it up just like that. And boom. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that. And then if I want to take my camera out, it'd be like this. Boom, boom, and boom. Crazy. It works pretty nice actually. And with the thumb grip and the side grip and the protection on the bottom in case you put your camera on the floor. I mean, this whole setup is very nice and compact. I like it. I like this a lot, guys. This is crazy. But anyways, Thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the merch store. And yep, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, take it easy. Peace.